I, I welcome the opportunity to speak on this motion and I want to thank Deputy McNamara for bringing it. And I also welcome the fact that you're not opposing it, Minister. That's positive. And I welcome the fact that you're accepting the amendment tabled by the Social Democrats, Rush and Shorto. And particularly, I have a particular interest coming from Galway in the elective hospital and also in the uh, salary position for GPOs. And following on from Slauncher Care, of course, the Regional Health Area Implementation Plan. That's the amendment that Deputy Shorto has tabled, and I'm sure she'll come back to it. I recognise, Minister, that you're a hard-working minister. I've said this on the record repeatedly. And I believe in a public health system, as I think you do. However, we're in a position which didn't happen today or yesterday in relation to the problems in the health service. And I've often said here, at the risk of boring people, that I spent 10 years of my life on a health forum. And I watched the systematic running down of our public health system. I'll put it as bluntly as that. That's exactly what I watched from 2006 to 16. And I stand here today in the knowledge that yesterday, 38 people in Galway Hospital were on trolleys out of 565 nationally. On the 3rd of May, 50, I've just picked different ones and there's a whole range of figures, 50 on the 3rd of May out of 712. And on the 3rd of January this year, and particularly Savage, 77 patients on trolleys, the worst since the um, nursing organization started to keep records in 2006, which coincidentally was the year I went on the health forum. This motion really seeks to take the pressure off general hospitals, isn't that right? Model 3 and Model 4. It should have happened years ago, really. Um, if we look back in 2013, uh, types of hospitals. Back in 13, the HSC, securing the future of small hospitals, a framework for development. That was 13, that's 10 years ago. And we're still just beginning to touch, uh, to touch the surface of it. And then our experience then in relation to this is, look, if we look at Galway, and I don't wish to be parochial, but it, it, it really puts the focus on the wonderful language and the vision and the actual reality on the ground, like the trolleys. So we look at Galway and we have a nurse. Um, a nursing home, I Grilor na Gaeltochta, I Gonamara, agus Thon Tainad Laid Dunta. So right in the middle of the Gaeltocht, we have a, a, a day centre that's closed. Now, I, I really think Kafka is easier to read at this stage, and I always thought it was difficult. I had the privilege of doing German for a very short space of time, and Kafka was impenetrable to me. The, and now I understand them perfectly, having dealt with the answers from the HSE and various other government institutions, because we got a very positive presentation in March that the day centre was to open uh, in April. And since then, it's been unravelling, and I'm being told, you know. So that's just one example of why I mention it, because it clearly takes the pressure off hospitals. Then we have the Clifton Hospital, a, a district hospital, lurching from week to week, dependent on staff, again, to take the pressure off the hospital. Now, I, as it happens, I have somebody in hospital near to me, and I know how hard the staff work. So I, I'm not here. I, I take it as a, a given that I praise the staff. They're absolutely wonderful. What I don't place praise our management on occasions and government policy. And government policy has got us utterly into this mess. And so we look at Galway City, where we're waiting for an accident and emergency. Going back to 2014, the Minister for Health for Adker states that a new building was the only solution in UHD. We've made progress since. However, there's no new accident and emergency. Still, we're making progress. We're getting there. I have a library full of uh, responses, as have other TDs. And we know now that the strategic assessment of you has been completed. We know there are changes to the public spending code and things, but, but we still have no accident and emergency. That was not fit for purpose back in 15. The elective hospital, which was announced on the 7th of December 22, was one of three sites, one of them in Merlin Park, is due to be open in seven and operational in, o in 08. I welcome that, but that time span is very, very long. And uh, the amendment from the Social De Democrats is asking to... Um, 
this and that. I finish by saying my frustration comes because back in 19, from a lot of reasons, but back in 19, the options appraisal identified Merlin Park for a brand new hospital. Nothing happened. And we've got an elective hospital now, but not a brand new hospital. Since then, they went for an update of the options appraisal. And suddenly we're told that the congested site in Galway is the place. So you can see the level of frustration in relation to all of this as someone that's utterly committed to public medicine. Thank you, Deputy Deputy.